Okay, so now I have the head back on. It's just uh, placed on. Um, it's not torqued down or there's no head gasket on it or anything. But I've removed the spark plug from cylinder number one. And looking into the cylinder number one, you can just barely see um, right there. That's the intake valve for cylinder number one. So with a pen light or any good light, you can see now the intake valve is opening. It's about to close. Now on the the highest point of travel for the cylinder, this first cylinder will be uh, at top dead center. So the cylinder's on its way up. And you can see it. Or you can look at the roll pin. That pin right there, when it's vertical, cylinder number one will be at top dead center. So let's get that vertical. <clears throat> okay, so it's hard with only two hands. So that roll pin now is vertical, and which means cylinder number one should be at top dead center. I'm looking at the rotor, um, that would tell me that cylinder number one is at top dead center, but let's see if we can see it. Looking down into the spark plug hole, <coughs> if the camera can focus, now that silver, <coughs> you can just barely see the edge of the cylinder and it is at the top of its travel. I'm trying to get a good video here but <clears throat> you can see the edge of cylinder number one now is at top dead center. So if you're gonna set your timing <clears throat> you know and replace your distributor or whatever or you just wanted to get cylinder one at top dead center which is usually because you're replacing the uh, the distributor um, it would now be at top dead center and then you could you know put your distributor back in and it, the rotor it, do, I, it doesn't really matter where the rotor is pointing as long as when you put the distributor cap back on um, everything's in a convenient spot. These clips, if I don't put, if I don't insert my distributor in this orientation, they're going to be in, in, in an inconvenient spot that I won't be able to reach uh, and actually clip um, the distributor cap back on. <clears throat> um, so to remove or to install, you have to have the distributor in a in a reasonable orientation. And on my distributor, there's an oil fill cap here. Uh, it's in a bad location, but it's not going to be in the way of the accessory drive or the alternator belt. So um, on my engine, and I'm sure on uh, most of the early model engines, um, the rotor needs to be pointing in that direction for the distributor orientation to be, um, you know, fairly decent for access uh, removing you know the cap or the rotor to do some service on it without you know completely removing it uh, if you're gonna if you have points um, you know and you need to clean them you know that you're gonna have to get the cap off um, I have electronic ignition so there's no service required but um, still you know if occasionally you want to oil it and you have to be able to reach that oil fill cap so that's top dead center on
a universal atomic four. There's another way to do it. Um, you know, you put your thumb over the uh, the, the number one uh, spark plug hole and you rotate the engine. As you're starting to feel pressure, um, you take a look at that roll pin. And the next time that it actually, you know, you, you continue to hand crank and the next time that that roll pin is vertical is when the cylinder number one will be at top dead center. Uh, so there's a few different ways to do it. Um, you know, if you have a good pen light, you can look in the cylinder hole, you can see the intake valve coming up. Um, and as it goes down, the cylinder is on its way up. Um, and, you know, you can peek in and I can see the edge of the cylinder. So I know it's at top dead center and then I would be able to um, reinstall my distributor. Alright, Universal Atomic 4, top dead center.